China's space station is expanding. Aboard the country's orbiting outpost is its youngest group of astronauts ever. Now that the Shenzhou 16 crew is back, what new challenges await them? What shape will the station now take? Let's get up to pace with the developments in space in this episode of Tech Please. The Shenzhou 17 crew, namely Commander Tang Hongbo and operators Tang Shengjie and Jiang Xinlin, have an average age of around 40, making them the youngest lineup in the history of Chinese space endeavors. It's also the first time that a space flight team is being led by a veteran from China's second batch of astronauts, and not from the previous generation. Additionally, the two operators are from the third graduating class and are having their first journey to space. I mean, yes, I can tell that they've been well trained and know to stay calm during the launch. But once they arrive at their home base in orbit and meet their teammates, they couldn't hold back the excitement. The past few days have been very valuable for both crews as they get to live and work in this spacious, space faring apartment. And in the coming months, the new crew will undertake a series of tasks, including space science experiments, extravehicular activities, installation of extravehicular payloads, and the first ever extravehicular maintenance of the space station. Now, all these tricky sounding firsts will be made easy thanks to the advanced design and equipment at the station. And when all is said and done and the stars are aligned, it'll be time to stretch our legs. 后续还将适时发射扩展舱段，将空间站基本构型由T字形升级为十字形。The station's T shape includes the Tianhe core module, which works as the command center, and two experimental modules, Wentian and Mengtian, which are dedicated to space science. Once the additional module is in place. The astronauts will enjoy life upgrades in terms of exercise, diet, and hygiene, as well as a boost in protection from debris and other dangers in space. And more importantly, a new module will add to the station's ability to conduct scientific experiments in space. Although maybe the uh, numbers of rocks inside the International Space Station is uh, uh, is greater than Earth, but the efficient, I mean, uh, the numbers and the mass, the total mass of the rocks comparing to the total mass of the whole station, we have higher uh, ratio uh, comparing with the International Space Station. And moreover, in the future, if we can have an additional module, like the situation in the Mengtian module, so most of the resources can be kept for the scientific research in this, uh, the fourth module. Also, the same situation for the fifth or the sixth module. So, in the future, I believe that the efficiency, although it is already the highest in the world, but with the extension of the station, we can even have higher efficiency in scientific research works in the future. Space experiments are crucial to innovation in a wide variety of fields, such as medicine, engineering, and even scientific theories. But we have to keep in mind that space is full of challenges, such as debris, radiation, and many other uncertainties. That's also why the China Space Station requires extravehicular maintenance. Furthermore, another module will also bring an extra layer of protection in terms of redundancy. And what's more exciting is that it will add more docking and berth ports to the station, as we only have three at the moment. That would also allow the possibility of connecting modules from other countries. You see, China's been very welcoming in international participants who want to work with China's space program. And that offer extends to the country's manned moon landing set for 2030. China now has a near-Earth manned space station, a complete manned shuttle transportation system, and a mature astronaut selection, training, and support system. It is able to carry out crewed missions on a regular basis with a frequency of twice a year. Now, what would you expect as the station keeps expanding? Leave a comment and let us know. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned for more tech, please.